Mr. Larch is not a very neighborly neighbor. He never has any visitors. His gray, gloomy house never has any decorations. He avoids everyone and everyone avoids him. But now Mr. Larch has a new neighbor. Willow and her family have moved into the bright yellow house directly across the street. Willow loves her new house and neighborhood. She loves the summer and the planting in her garden. She loves the fall and sharing vegetables with neighbors. And when winter arrives, she loves that too. She can't wait for the first snowfall because she has found the perfect hill for sledding. And it's right behind Mr. Larch's house. Can Willow melt his cold heart in time to enjoy a snow day? Well, let's find out when we read Willow and the Snow Day Dance by Denise Brimmon Nelson, illustrated by Sid Moore. Mr. Larch never had visitors not even on holidays. Only the mailman had a reason to approach the gray house known to the neighborhood kids as the cave. On rare occasions, when you might catch a glimpse of Mr. Larch, he was stooped over, twisted and knotted like an old apple tree. He always wore a hat but he never wore a smile. His yard was lifeless. No flowers in the spring or summer. No birdhouses or feeders. In the fall months, when the yards were decorated with pumpkins, scarecrows, and ghosts, Mr. Larch's yard was bare. And in winter, Mr. Larch posted signs that made it clear to the neighborhood kids that there would be no sledding on his hill. Across the street in a canary yellow house with turquoise shutters and a cherry red door, a little girl and her family were moving in. Willow loved her new house and neighborhood. A tire swing hung from the sycamore tree in the backyard. There were wide sidewalks, a basketball hoop, and a place to plant a garden. Behind the quiet gray house, there was a hill. Willow imagined it frosted in snow like a vanilla cupcake. It would be the perfect hill for sledding. It was early spring and Willow couldn't wait to start gardening. Willow helped her mom clean out the flower beds and dig up a sunny patch of lawn for a vegetable garden. They had brought plants and clippings from their other house, but there was room for more. Dear neighbors, I am planting a garden and in need of all types of seeds and seedlings. Can you help your friend and neighbor, Willow? Her generous neighbors kept Willow and her mom busy all spring. Before long, summer arrived. Everyone admired Willow's garden. The birds and butterflies, even the deer enjoyed the colorful plants and flowers Willow and her mom had carefully planted mulch and water. Willow cut flowers from her garden and made bouquets to share with her neighbors, even Mr. Larch. Dear neighbors, thank you for all the plants. I especially like the sunflowers. Claude Monet would be proud. Your friend and neighbor, Willow. P.S. I am looking for scraps for my garden art project. Can you help?
In autumn, Willow shared vegetables from her garden with her neighbors, even Mr. Larch. The annual hat and mitten drive was underway at school, and once again, Willow's request for help was answered. Dear neighbors, thank you for all the mittens, hats, and scarves. The charity drive at my school was a big success. Lots of heads and hands will be warm. Your friend and neighbor, Willow. Winter was just around the corner. Every night, Willow fell asleep thinking of all the things she would do when it snowed. Best of all, when those soft white crystals fell from the sky, there was always the possibility of a snow day. Willow helped her dad get the winter boots and coats out of the boxes in the attic and wax the sleds and saucers. Now, all she needed was snow. She waited and waited and waited, but the north winds didn't heave a sigh, much less blow. Day after day went by and still no sign of snow. One day, Willow overheard the teachers discussing the unusually warm weather. How long do you think our luck will hold out? said one to the other. I heard we're not supposed to get any snow all winter, was the reply. As soon as Willow got home from school, she wrote and delivered another letter to her neighbors. Dear neighbors, I'm in need of snow. Can you help? Your friend and neighbor, Willow. Everyone laughed at Willow's request. Well, almost everyone. The next day, Willow found a mysterious note in her mailbox. The Snow Day Dance. When the weatherman is predicting the chance of precipitation, follow these directions. Before going to bed, put your pajamas on inside out and backwards. Tape a penny to your door or put a spoon under your pillow, whichever you prefer. Get up on your bed and do a dance. The sillier, the better. Get your family to do it with you. The more people that participate, the better. A dance to make it snow? Willow couldn't wait to try it. A few days later, Willow heard the weatherman predicting winds out of the north and a slight possibility of snow. She made copies of the Snow Day dance instructions and took them to school to pass them out to every student and teacher. And when Willow got home, she left the instructions at every house in the neighborhood. That night, she taped a penny to her door put a spoon under her pillow, and with her pajamas on backwards and turned inside out, Willow did the silliest dance she could. And she wasn't the only one. When Willow woke the next morning, she ran to her window. Written in the snow, with snowballs of all shapes and sizes sparkling in the early morning light were those magical words, Snow Day. And behind the houses on the perfect hill for sledding, where the keep off signs used to be, wearing a stocking cap and the biggest smile you've ever seen, was Mr. Larch. Hello friends, thanks for listening to Storytime with Lorelei. As a former teacher, Snow Day was one of the best things 
that we could hear on the news. I hope you love snow days too. If you like this book, please subscribe to my channel, Storytime with Lorelai, and you'll see all the new books that come out, as well as all the other books that I have. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.